So we got, we working, man. We working. Don't give a fuck. What y'all talking about? We fucking working. Pieces of, of um, bro. So he signed the deal now. That's Shout out to first him. and foremost. Shout out to this, to this, to, to, to son, right? He's from Jersey, first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? He went to, he played for East Orange Campus. You know what I'm saying? Jaguars, if I'm not mistaken. You feel me? Hometown type shit, man. Shout out. Shout out to EO. Shout out to this young man. Shout out to his deal. Shout out to his progression. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this shows a lot of young kids around his demographic, his age demographic, demographic and younger. Yo, you could go a whole nother route. This man went from being a meme and Popeyes to now having an NFL deal. And who knows? Like, this is the beginning. He's like, he's mad young. Who knows what's next? You feel me? Shout out to him. Mad love. Make sure y'all send love. Nothing but love for him. You know what I'm saying? Young African-American, young black man, young black excellence doing the impossible. First and foremost. Let's start there. It's a word. Right. That's so he, funny that's hard. So, well, so, well, literally, Popeyes, so well, literally what they could do is make him his own sandwich. Put him like on a fucking poster ad all over the fucking United States. I don't know if they have Popeyes all over the all over the world, but sure in the United business, States. Make sure that business is right though. But yes, they could do that. Make sure your business is right, young man. Get that shit done. And it would go crazy. Give that him nigga his own look flavor. like he got diabetes. What the fuck is you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? See, and it be. Uh, it be niggas like this though, cause now I'm tight. I ain't gonna lie. Why the fuck would you say that? And if, and 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 let's keep it a bean. Son, right next to him should have been like, nah, my nigga, come on, this ain't this ain't that. They should have they should have hopped on his ass like this ain't the time for that, bro. This is some young nigga from New Jersey. Jersey don't begin is love and 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 and, and was like the respect they really deserve, but and that's because niggas from Jersey we don't really be. You know what I'm saying? We don't be. We don't be on that. We be chilling. We don't really got to speak too much. Niggas be humble. You know what I'm saying? This nigga's weird. Why was that the first? I ain't even congratulate the young nigga. Like, you said, yeah, that's that's whatever. But, like, damn. I ain't gonna lie. Son, like, you got diabetes. Like, what, my nigga? Come on, son. <laughs> that's so fucked up. <laughs> yeah, like, what? They it look looks like look maybe he was at risk of that. But mm, now that he's turned risk. towards being, like, like a football like, player. Like, that that He's obviously slimmed up. He's getting older. This nigga's we go to workouts. He's playing football. He's doing something way more healthy than what you're doing. You lounging on the couch. Your posture is whack, bro. Your posture is whack. Son probably don't even I'm not even gonna lie to you now. He got me tight right now. I promise you this nigga's probably high as hell off pills and lean. Now now let's talk about it. Like, come on, get your fiend out of here. Free diabetic <laughs> than a motherfucker. He, he um Hey, that's fire though. Shout out to him, bro. Yeah, he, bro, now, now he goes, if 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 he dick sucking ass nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like shit like that, bro. I don't like shit like that. I don't I ain't even gonna say it ain't lie to you. I don't like shit like that, bro. Man, shout out to y'all young man. Hopefully, hopefully niggas don't look at this shit and you know what I'm saying? But yeah, fuck out of here. He plays his car rights, he's getting a big bag. No yeah, for exactly. Sure. So like that's what we should actually... be talking about. That's what we should be talking about. This man went from being a meme and fucking Popeyes having an NFL deal and how black excellence is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Let's talk about that. Be able to like get to the NFL after yeah. this. Yeah. You got to deal like, with These the, kids yes. have such a great opportunity to start marketing themselves. Mm -hmm. and exactly. Bro, he's still, if I'm not mistaken, he's either still in high school or on his way. If he's on his way to college for sure after this. He can go to, he can go to college. He can start marketing himself. He can start getting a deal because he already got a face card. He already has a face card. He has a deal with them. You know what I'm saying? He can take this shit to the furthest extent. He can go do four years out of college. Right? Get mad, bro, because now they're starting to pay the athletes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty, he's a great, he's a good athlete, obviously. Niggas won a championship. You know what I'm saying? He's a great athlete. He's going to, he's going to, he's still way more work ethic than a lot of people. Boom, he goes from that transition to college, from that transition into the NFL. And because he already had the spotlight. He probably already got a personality and everything. He can do YouTube on top of that, on top of school, or whatever else he want to do. And if he chooses to go to NFL or he chooses to go to the draft or whatever, he can also do that. You know what I'm saying? 
So lean into those things so much opportunity earlier on bro. and actually make money for, off of them. And also, and also, I'll go ahead. Look. Nah, I feel like that leaves niggas in better positions because a lot of people are like, how many times you didn't came across a nigga who was this super college star and he and just they, keep reliving through that? But at the same time, because they didn't get to make no fucking money. Now, if you don't get to, to the league, NBA, yeah, you or, still or make you don't money. get to the league, NFL, you Marco. still are able to change your life through mm-hmm. college ball. And I think you should be because them niggas are putting themselves at risk, just at like a, just like motherfuckers age. in the league just are. Like a- I will have to agree with this ignorant ass head, ignorant ass dickhead. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's very true. These college athletes put their fucking mind, body, and soul on the line for the sport to, in hopes, obviously, get to the league to then be able to do the thing that they love for the rest of their life, which is play play football or, well, in this context, we're talking about football, uh, do what they love, make a lot of money, and support themselves and their family. That is the most important for them. So I will agree with him there. Uh, in the past, they they they've done so fucking much and have gotten so less. Not, but now they've they fought and fought and fought. So over the years, now they can actually start getting paid. They can start getting sponsorships. Like it was some, it was somebody I think and that was talking about how he wanted to play college football, but but he had a YouTube personality or YouTube presence, and they kind of like was on some shit like, hmm, you can't you can't do both because it's like it's a we're a brand over here, so like you have to pick. And it's like, damn, like, I'm getting, I'm a broke college student. You guys don't really get, you guys kind of, like, give me certain shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sponsorship, y'all kind of, like, give gear out and shit like that. But I'm broke, so YouTube is kind of paying a little bit or giving me a little bit of money. Y'all telling me the little bit of money I'm getting over here, I can't do. But versus y'all who are going, yeah, I might be able to go to the league, but it's like, damn, like, I could do this YouTube shit. This could take off, Right? And then I don't have to worry about concussions, uh, uh, brain hemorrhages, any old kind of crazy damages to my physical, unless I want to. And I'm getting paid. Come on, son. Come on, son. I don't know. I don't know about that. Bro, niggas athlete. are tearing ACLs, tearing yeah, tendons, and all type of shit, getting injured permanently for absolutely a crumb of nothing. So I think that's it's literally a what I was gonna finally. say. Where I'm like, where now you damn near like, let's say, well, let's say you go to a USC, right, Josh, mm-hmm. and you're like one of the best basketball players ever, and now like instead of hurting yourself on your fourth year, you you make millions of dollars on your first three years. Mm-hmm. You could damn near not take the route of of going to the fucking of going to the league and you're damn near stay your mm-hmm. career stays good, your healthy stays good, and if your your body stays good, you could damn near build the whole business and you don't have to go deal with the whole spotlight the whole shit. F- Unless you're really spotlight, the whole physicality of that of that of that experience. Because they let's keep it a being they rip they tear your body down. That's what they're doing for body. Tear your body down, rebuild it. You know what I'm saying? And you're on that you on that field, you with gladiators. So I forgot who's you're literally you're a gladiator, my nigga. You go out there, you perform, you hit you 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 put your body and everything on the line for this one game. Each game is the same way. That's exactly how the coaches expect you to treat each game. You gotta go out there, you go down for the ball, you hit hard, you get back up, and you keep doing that shit. That's just how it is. Like that's the mindset. You want some mamba mindset, black mamba mindset. I really love the sport, but other than that, most people in the NBA they're there for the money. If we really think about it. Yeah, well, I also think like the NIL with them being able to make money is also a way to like combat this ability for kids now. Like, why wouldn't you want to be a YouTuber? Why wouldn't you like, if you have that entrepreneurial exactly. spirit, what's stopping exactly you from earning on. money for yourself outside of? Yeah. Yeah, in a couple hours, yeah. You know, you still going out? Okay. <laughs> I love you too. Good night. This. Well, there was How like, can we attract these top tier, you know? Yeah, yeah, facts. Well, there was also that keep, kid keep. that had like the YouTube channel where he was just kicking the shit out of the football, the kicker. Oh, yeah, and he, then, talk, and then, was, uh, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Destroyer. Some shit like that. Destroying. And then what was the name? But then the NCAA was destroying. like, Destroying. Yeah, he was, oh, they were like, cover. You either do your YouTube or fucking, or, or you quit that shit and you can only focus on football. And, he, and that's weird. That's weird, bro, to me, because, like, why, like, they really was not trying to let niggas make no kind of money, but they were making millions. (laughs) 
they were making millions. It's like why why was that in the first place? I don't I don't understand what that was about. Maybe because they they saw it as a brand, so they wanted to control the brand, like and they don't want any outside entities coming in or like anything you. Because you're a part of their brand, so if you do something, it kind of fall flax on them, which I kind of understand, but at the same time, it's like, bro, this this kind of, this is a separate entity. This is my outside personal life. Now, I get if he was in there recording all kinds of, like, you know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. He decided to do YouTube, which probably wasn't the best. But did you see what happened? Wasn't. That shit worked out. He's, he's doing some, she came to Jersey and was doing some shit with uh, Michael Vick, I think, or somebody like that, if I'm not mistaken. Like, Come on, bro. That shit worked out perfectly. He got signed. Yeah. He yeah, got signed by, by, by the league. Come on, bro. Okay, which I is... he's no, going that's fire. Way yeah, better, yeah. nigga. So, shit. Bug so, up. fuck it. Him, but see now, Coach Prime, everybody's trying to shit on him, but he's like, he, what, what he he's doing thing. is just marketing the fuck out of every team he goes to. Exactly. Because he's going to Colorado State, right? Colorado. Bro, well, Colorado State finna have the fly his kicks, fly his jerseys, Biggest sponsorships. So that they you're able to attract the be best, bigger talent in, now in which the is nation. Like, that's what exactly, which is all college, college football is. College is football, it's basketball. all recruiting. Exactly. Yeah. Putting a team together. And how to can I get? Team. How can I put in a super team together in order to 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 get this end goal, which is to win state championships, win games. You know what I'm saying? Bring sponsorships to the schools. Like, come on, bro. Make the that's best team about. and. You know, if you look at the NFL, which is done like through free agency, you can say, all right, we'll pay you X amount of dollars. You don't have that option in college with everybody. You just woo a nigga. But if you can give them, you know, a program that's going to get a ton of media spotlight, a ton of national attention, and a, a ton of TV games, a lot of looks for them to have the best chance to go somewhere else, Bro. they're going to attract top tier talent. And like he's exactly. able to do that. And especially even like kids that are like three stars, four stars, where, where, Let's just say Colorado State is the only thing that offered them, but and then, and then they know they might not have a career in. They can make in, money, bro. They can just make money and and, and 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 do something. They can start a business. They can they can be. They're also still in school, so they can they can take whatever route they want with the shit. Get a scholarship, save all that college money, all that sponsorship money, devise a plan, graduate, and then you know what I'm saying. Go go handle the plan. And they already been in the media, so they already kind of got exposure because when they playing these D1 games or whatever the case may be, you're being broadcasted. Your name is on that screen. Just the hometown knows you. All these people know you. So you can take from there and go somewhere totally different. You know what I'm saying? Take that same following or that same uh, 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 whatever you want to call it and, and, and take that energy and, you know what I'm saying, put that into whatever you got going on. So, yeah, that's, this is fire. Shout out to this young man. You heard he sort of my school actually crazy, but um, yeah, shout out to him. Wish him nothing but the fucking best first and foremost, and on his future endeavors, man. I hope that he take this shit to the furthest, and I hope this shit wake up a lot of the young niggas in the city, in the towns, bro. Like word up, but um, yeah. Let me know how y'all feel about that, man. Shout out to Jersey, it's fucking lit, man. We going up. When for one win, we all win. That's how I feel. So yeah, we out, man.